So I was driving on the uh, intercoastal water and there was a lot of wind. So this panel unfortunately blew off and uh, the clips have been broken. So um, all of them except this one. And um, it's time to, um, as you see, there are, there are seven of them. So there's one here broken. This one is broken. This one is broken. That one is broken too. And that one is broken. So the only one that's there is, is this one. Well, obviously this won't hold. So um, can't really buy this alone. Uh, there's one on eBay, which is my plan B if this fails. Of course, you gotta get the right color, right? This is the black leather one. And, uh, but in fact, if you buy it from the dealer or alternative places like the dealer, you're gonna have to buy the whole thing, uh, which, it's about $500, so I figured let me try to fix them. So, um, what can we do for that? So, luckily, one piece is saved, and the piece that's saved is uh, this one right, that's supposed to go right here. And uh, I'm just gonna epoxy that, right? Um, and that should be okay. But before I epoxy that, I want to try to fix the other. So I got some Gorilla Epoxy and some uh, plastic bonder. I'm not sure which is better, but I, I'm, I'm always using this. But for some reason, this said great for plastic to metal and plastic to plastic. So I thought I'd give it a try. All right, so the question is, how do we do this? So... Obviously, I don't have the plastic pieces. They're all pulverized probably somewhere or they fell through the crack there. But nonetheless, there are some pieces here. So clearly, I'm not going to do a puzzle piece with these little things. So um, one option it would be to use a paper, paper clip and uh, insert it here and then just turn it around and, you know, bend this into the right shape. And um, that could work. This is hard enough to hold it. It's a clip after all, and these are clips, but but then you can also do something like um, like this. So use the paper clip wire and just uh, double it up or triple it up. So you can get something like that uh, and then maybe epoxy that. So that way it would, um, so it would sit this way and then it would make a clip that way. And the only thing is that you may have to adjust this afterwards to make sure it uh, latches onto the air. And there's another one right here. So you can see that this, this clip is gonna have to hug this so it doesn't slide. All right, um, we're gonna try to do that. Let's get to it. Um, so the other option would be to use these um, picture hangers actually. And they're pretty stiff if you get the 30 pound ones. Uh, these are the ones I got from Home Depot. So I've already used the pliers to um, make a little hook there. And so what you can do here, the alternative plan would be to epoxy this thing. So in fact, this is the advantage of that is you can have a little bit more setting. Um, so here basically it's epoxy. So the thing is here is there's a little groove, right? A little bit wider than that metal piece. But if if you can fill that with epoxy and get that, of course, you're going to have to clean the surface really well. Let's do it with the tape first to show you what it looks like. All right. So here's the idea. So um, I'm going to use either this picture hanger or this uh, clip that I made from paper clip. So um, and then epoxy them. This gives me a little bit of, uh, the holes are actually helpful because they allow the epoxy to get in there and really hold this tight. And um, this one also, in a way, all these um, channels that will make very nice contact with the epoxy. Of course, you're gonna have to clean them, probably scratch the metal to get the most contact with the epoxy. And then these uh, metal clips probably aren't perfect uh, compared to the original. So plastic, which is uh, molded perfectly to fit but since i think there's a little give when you slide this uh, i think i'm going to try to align them as perfectly as possible before i epoxy them because problem with having them 
epoxied and then moving them with the pliers could end up breaking the <laughs> the base here use like a bolt or something to just rotate this around you know so so it's not a sharp turn yeah see now we're talking a very nice uh rounded turn you know still on the fence about which one to use this or that tempted to go with this quite frankly even though this is fun to make this just fits right and it's a more smooth end here so this is kind of this is here we go maybe that's not maybe that's not really it's too slippery maybe huh so we go like this. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's the right curvature. So when this... Ah, that's why this thing is here. To help it slide. Ah. So that's pretty good, I think. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's see if the other one... Yeah, it could use a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good. Look, there's some good news. Um, I found some bits and pieces of these um, clips and what happens here is you could put them. So for example, this is broken in two pieces and if you put it here, it's the, it's the right fit here. And this one is the right fit here. This one here is this one right there. You can see here, it fits just perfect. That's the right one. It's not this one. All right, let's prep the surface. And then uh, the idea would be to give this a little scratch. Uh, along the inside grooves here too and certainly now the way this thing is gonna grip is probably gonna be from that side so you want to probably put more epoxy on the back side here and when we prep all of them at once right that would be the right thing to do all right so uh, so far I salvaged what I could um, by doing a first layer of epoxy, I'm gonna reinforce it. This one is, I don't find the part, uh, the broken piece here is this one. Again, I'm gonna try to reinforce these a little bit. And this is the original one. All right, and this one's the only one that's good. Now here's this one, I, this is the right one. This, I spent a lot of time perfecting this. And this one will, will fit right in here and it effectively mimics, there you go, effectively mimics these clips right here uh, with the same amount of leeway being a metal which has some give in it and won't break like plastic would. So yeah, so that's the one. I'm gonna make one more clip for, uh, for this one right here. That would be better, judging from this grip here. Okay. 
All right, here's the finished product. Um, after it's dried, I left it for two, three days. Um, and this is the first one. There's a second. All of them are pretty good. I am tried to be conservative about putting epoxy inside the cleft so it doesn't um, impact the clipping action. And here's the prosthetic, if you will. Uh, that's the one that's made from the picture hanger and uh, here's this one which actually I had to put two pieces together to get this one and here's another one of those metal ones I used this different epoxy I'm sure you could have used the same epoxy this was the JB weld the other one was the gorilla epoxy kind of like the gorilla a little bit more but this one said it had good contact with uh, metal and plastic together so I they're, I think they're pretty stiff. So, so then there's a little give in this. So, uh, if this is not clipping perfect. So as you can see, this one broke from another part. It was broken at the base, but now it's broken on top. So I didn't think to reinforce it. So I should have. So obviously I, the other ones are fine. I, um, they don't have anything else. This one is good too. So I decided to use a metal part to, um, reinforce the first one that broke. So here you can see I, I put a piece of metal to reinforce the first one that broke. And here it is with the epoxy. I waited another two days. All right, let's try to put this on, uh, put it in. And obviously you're gonna slide it through. So uh, I think, I think I got it. Beautiful, beautiful. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. All right, now give it a little polish. <laughs> 